Okay. Hello and welcome to the Spring Book 2020. Yay! Yay! All of you, thank you for your support, your presence, your working with us on this. Um, special thank you to Special thank you to John Chatoyan. I think John is here for his support of the book. Thank you, thank you, thank you, John. And um, what we wanted oh, to do you. was look a little bit at the book and then um, open it up for people to talk. So what I'm gonna ask you to do right now is I'm gonna have you guys mute so that we have as little, I'm gonna mute my Oh, you're muting everyone? For the start. Okay. Thank you. I hope. And then um, I'll, we'll say a couple things and then we'll open it up for people to discuss. We also had some of the poets who said that they were happy to read some of their poems. And so we'll also do that. Um, so we'll share the screen. Okay. And I have to get back. Sorry, I have to also be letting people in. So give me one second. All right, Gary, tell us how this idea happened. Well, you know, we got so frustrated when, uh, when Hard decided to cancel and close everything. And of course, logically, I mean, uh, we needn't get into the crisis. We all know where, we're, where we are in this regard. And so we felt so disappointed that uh, we came up with this idea of Springbook. And it's a couple of things that we did that we'll share as, um, as we're going through is that we actually did hold ourselves relatively strongly to the A, B, um, and that A, B, C's, and that the order is very much about that. Yeah. So, so the challenge was how how do we make, how do we make this book not uh, play any favorites? How do we say you know someone's here, someone's there? We decided we'll go A to Z, and luckily all of you had at least three pictures. Some of you had five. A few of you uh, gave more choice so we had six or seven to choose from and we had to make a sequence in a book reflect what we would normally do in a show a physical show and you all know that those of you that have been in experiences in hanging the show with us how we try to create a journey through the gallery and uh, i use the term a lot of times powerpoints where you have one area of the gallery guide you into another area of the gallery. How do you do that in a book? And so dealing with time-based sequencing and being the constraint of A to Z was very exciting. So hence, we, we kind of lived the book for, the, for, for, for a month. <laughs> I'd get up in the morning, open the computer, and start playing every day. And so it was a lot of fun. And um, I, I feel like book sings and, and it's your, your work sings. your your work sings and it's what's what was really amazing was so we get let's say we i'll just say we go from uh uh jones to johnson or that would be the other way around johnson to jones and then we're gonna say okay let's hope there's one that really sings next to it not you know it's you want to you want a book to sequence not feel disruptive and i feel like every page does so um, if, if anyone wants to make a comment, I'm going to say, um, ask you to um, just raise your hand and I will try to, to catch on that and we will call on people as we go. But what I'd like to start out with is sharing again and starting with the book. And going through and gear. Oops, there's the back of the book, so you get all your names. One of the challenges was how to how to do a cover. And we we went through all the logical, you know, we'll put a small thumbnail of everybody's picture, you know, a wrap. And it just didn't feel right. And slowly but surely, the time we're in started to really impact how we were feeling. And uh, selecting something and the title actually came from a book a uh, project i was working on for my own work uh, which was at something finding calm or finding peace in, in tumultuous times i think was the original and so we came up with this idea that all of us through our work are trying to create 
within difficult times. And so that's, that's how the evolution came. And I want to acknowledge John Van Winkle and his um, generosity in um, sharing his image for the front cover. Indeed. And, um, and working with us to get us what we needed to make that happen. And thank you, John Chatoyan, again, as we wrap through there. And uh, we, we wrote the introduction numerous times. Uh, a couple of you helped us on that. Thank you. <laughs> it, was, it was quite complicated uh, to really say how we were feeling at the time and at the same time reflect the magic of what all of us do. Why don't you read from here, Gary? Our personal call is answered by creating this book as it is an affirmation of what we love and all that we do. We find peace in this beautiful, restless world by giving, sharing, and supporting art, community, and each other. I think that's what we all do, and that's our goal. I think uh, I think I can speak for everyone in that regard, I hope. So thank you to the artists in this book for a lifetime of community and sharing. Any comments before I go to um, into the book? Anyone want to make any comments? You can unmute yourself. Well, I've never done this. Hi, Philip. Hi, Philip. You're doing fine. Can you see me? <laughs> so, um, I've just submitted my pictures to the D. Young Museum Open. Oh, good. Exciting. Congratulations. They're taking they're taking applications until uh, I think till this Sunday. If other people are interested, just go online and look up. D. Young open and Google it and you'll find out the procedure. Two pictures. Excellent suggestion. I saw that, Philip. Yeah, you know, for if you want to get shown, if you get shown, you can say, hey, I was in the D. Young. If you get accepted, I don't know whether I'll be accepted until July 31st. So well, good luck, Philip. Long wait. So do you want to have Bruce read? Yeah, so um Bruce. Roberts is going to read his poem, which is next to Holly's um, photograph. Bruce, can you unmute? Let me unmute you. Bruce? Well, Bruce Folk is here, but isn't sure if he's, you're talking to his books. Oh, uh, that's that's Bruce. Oh, sorry. Folk. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Bruce Folk. Folk. And we're looking for Bruce Roberts to read his poem. We're on, we're on the page with his poem. How do I unmute? Am we I hear you? Yes, we can hear you now. So Bruce is the poet laureate for Hayward. Also worked with us on the fabulous um, vintage um, Hayward vintage book. views. Vintage views and. Um, can you read your poem? And anything you want to share? Let's see. Let me stop sharing for a minute so I can find it. Where, there he is, right there. Hi, Bruce. Can you unmute? You're muted um, again. I heard you for a second. There you are. Now you're unmuted. Okay, do I have to hold? Oh, now you're muted again. So it's a little yeah. microphone, lower left hand corner. Yeah, it's very, very far down. I don't know how to, I'm new at this. Okay. Um, <laughs> there you are. And I thought, uh, since it's a book about finding peace, that war would be an appropriate poem to read for all this. So here goes War, the poem. Write a poem, sing a song, hug a child, write a wrong, dance at a wedding, toast old friends, solve someone's problems so anxiety ends. Hike through the mountains, sail on the sea, soar over schoolyards, laugh full of glee, invent penicillin, restore many to health, breathe, play, and love, immersed in life's wealth. The birth of a baby, a full moon at night, the joy of a family with future so bright. Yet mankind eternal can't handle such peace. So throughout all history, we live with a beast. Green eyes and avarice lurk ever in the dark. An outbreak of violence, a negative spark. Obsession with self with nary a thought for anyone else. 
as should have been taught. This behavior repulsive, a true horror to life, destroying, annihilating, perpetual strife. So talk to your children. Be sure they deplore those moronic compulsions that bring about war. Thank Wonderful, you. Bruce. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. Um, and that seemed like an amazing start with where we were starting with feeling about the work. Um, certainly, we were working on the book um, before some of the current strife, um, but we already had the pandemic and the shelter in place, and it just was a, a really amazing start next to Holly's picture. The other thing we were doing in, in design was choosing to do bleeds, double trucks, and various forms on the spreads. And really playing with things like movement, like in Kathy and, and Susan's. I just, when I, when these two went together, I, I just yeah, smiled, I remember, both, yeah. <laughs> both because I know that um, they're both wonderful, amazing, inspiring women artists, and because their their work spoke to each other. I love other. the way the leg gestures and flies with the birds across the page. This was one of my playful ones, and it, it makes me smile and thinks it, I think about every day and then the non every day. So you, many of you have ordered your book and you will have, you have, this is the same link as it was, I'll resend it out. So the corrections have been um, in, embedded into the web version of the book. Um, and what we would like to do at some point is have another event where we invite the whole community, like we would at an opening at Photo Central, to come and see, see the book and hear some of you talk about it. And we'll arrange that in the, in the next little bit. And what I'd like to do now I'm going to stop sharing for a second if anyone has any comments, but I'm going to find um, our next poem. Oh, back, back one. No. Hold on one second. Larkspur Bakery. I can't get over a clean Sorry. Looking for. There. Okay, so we have, go ahead, Gary. Bill, our, uh, Bill Owens, uh, we're very excited. Everybody knows Bill. He's been in so many shows and, and events and always attends and uh, one of our dear friends. And Bill is for the first time exhibiting his poetry. So Bill, do you want to talk and share a little bit and then- Hi, your can you hear me? Yes, yes. yes. I, can. I, don't, I don't see my photograph in the right-hand corner. Um, well, I don't, that, you mean your picture, your face? Yeah, like everybody else. I, you may, you may have it set up, so you can have your Zoom set up to show your face or to not show your face. I'm and so, a camera with a X through it. Yeah, oh, if you want to have your, then click on the camera with the X through it and un-X it. Yeah, if you're, well, I tried. Okay, well, can you read your poem? Right. Or yeah, tell, us a, tell us a little bit about anything. Uh, all right. Uh, these poems were written almost 40 years ago uh, when I was going through a divorce and actually divorced from uh, Janet um, and put away an envelope or wherever in a box somewhere. And about a year ago, I found these poems when I was going through some files. Uh, there's 22 of them. And so I'm uh, brushing them up and you can see down here, I have a, an artist who is making illustrations and this one uh, is the guy on the couch with a glass of wine. So the poem is, how do you spell pain? D-I-V-O-R-C-E. The book said to get well, take a hot bath, get a massage, drink hot milk, buy yourself something, treat yourself to ice cream, take a trip, bask in the sun, read a book, go to a fine restaurant, see a movie, visit an art museum, enjoy. But when you're in pain, you fall asleep with a glass of wine and the TV on. Okay. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. And I, I, lo I love the illustration as well. And you can see that uh, our choice in sequencing, coincidentally, since, you know, we're doing A to Z, but the poems became a way for us to 
integrate fabric into the book. And Mike's image there makes it even more poignant, and especially with the America. Mike, are you on too? Mike's here. Can you unmute, Mike? Thanks for reading that, Bill. Thank you, Bill. I got more. <laughs> <laughs> you want to read another one? Uh, here. Yeah. Okay, wait, okay. Here we go. Here we go. It was a perfect marriage. Two kids in a house in suburbia and a cat that needed attention. She liked to cook and I did the dishes and filled the ice trays. The yard with its weeds and the walls that need papering. And it's a perfect marriage until the ski season. I was to raise a kid and do the dishes and fix the nosebleed. I did okay, except the house plants died and the cat got fleas. I loved her in the traditional sense. I loved her as a mother, my children. I loved her as a person. But the ski season ended and I got the house and the kids and the cat who needed a flea collar. God, it'd be nice, it would not God, it would be wonderful to fill the ice cube trays again and hear you laugh. Wonderful melancholy in that one. And by having Pushpa's image there that's very thoughtful, the watercolor, it had that contemplative moment. And what was really fun in doing the layout for the book in this is choosing to make, we, we, we took Pushpa's painting there and we, we would change it by half an inch in either direction constantly until when we looked at the poem and we read the poem and we saw the ice tray, it just felt right. And that's some of the magic of, of sizing and scale in the book. Yeah. And Pushpa's title of COVID-19 Respite, Respite um, which I think, Pushpa, does that have to do with watercolor or with the wine in the bottle? <laughs> 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 Probably with the watercolor knowing Pushpa that the, the joy that she feels in her watercolors has really um, come through. Or, or, or wink, wink, maybe the wine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to, anyone want to? Um, you want to go back and continue the sequence? We have, we have another poet. Um, okay, let me get to, we have another, we'll, we'll go to the other poet maybe. Give me a second to find it. Say something here. Oh, say something here. Oh, look at the pressure. Is it next to, it's not next to, uh, yeah, that's right. There it is. And so we have um, Sim along with um, Chris Snap's piece. Sim, can you read um, your poem? Does he have to unmute? He does have to unmute. Oh. I see him there. Unmute first. Oh, Sim, you have to start again. Yeah, we, we don't have, you're still, you're still you're quiet. You're still muted. So you have to, the little microphone in the lower left-hand corner. Let's, I'll unshare so maybe it'll be easier to find. Okay, is that, is that unmuted now? Yes. Yes, indeed yes, it, it is. is. Thank you. Uh, this poem was written when I lived in Marin some over a decade ago. Lived in Larkspur and one of my favorite places was the Larkspur Bakery. And that's the poem is titled Larkspur Bakery. The sun hangs above the horizon, but barely. The guitars thump thumps, signal mellow days, rancid days. Words are blockaded, legs churn on a brisk walk, the mind vacuous, the heart steady as she goes. On the tranquil Larkspur Sea, there's not a tattoo in sight. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I really came to love the way the the painting, which is, I mean, it's it's called it had it's certainly about something else, but I felt the sunlight and the movement and the joy yeah. in yeah. the painting that I felt in the poetry. And my I when I like to put poems and pictures together, what I hope is that they don't say the same thing, but that they expand each other in some way and have a kind of conversation. Yeah, yeah, me too. 
And I hope others feel this feel the same. Oh, on that. God. Yes. Oh, nice, Sim. That's nice, especially when the poet feels the same. And I and I, I, I think Bruce said expressed the same in the comparing with his poem. Right. C continuing that pairing uh, concept, um, the uh, is is Marcella here? I don't think Marcella's here. No, I wasn't able to get a hold of her, unfortunately. She okay. has some lovely poems, but let's just. That's uh, an interesting contrast as well. Where are we? So here we have Oliver's elephant. This is another example of how important it was to double truck the image, and and even bleed it so that the engagement between the boy and the elephant, the boy looking at the mirror, hanging on, on the elephant's tusks, just wouldn't carry unless we got that level of scale. We were also kind of playful in how we double trucked it. And by the, by the way, double truck means crossing the border of, of the, uh, the fold of the book. Where we put the fold was real important here. We almost wanted the boy to be looking across to another world on the other side of the page. A lot of fun doing this. And we have another poet here. Yeah, stop, <laughs> stop, stop. Back up, girl. Is, That's is, Kate's poem next, next to Lori's. Is, is Laura here? Laura Ken, Kenny? I'm here. Hi, hey, hi Lori. Hi there. You know, so much, I mean, what Sulphur Creek and the animals and your work has meant to me and to be able to put this poem next to your picture just meant a really lot to me. So I really thank you for, and, and, for giving us this image. And like Bill Owens, Kate's poems go back 40 years too. So she's been writing for a long, long time um, and I've always been nudging her. This is a newer poem. It's a newer one, but still I've been nudging her to do her poetry and it's very exciting to have two closet poets uh, that I think write beautifully. And I just too. love this myself as well. It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Bird meets his shadow, black as soot with rainbow glimmers from his quest to bring us fire and relieve us from the cold. Bird meets his shadow undeterred. He is wise enough to know that this is the way of the world. Day after day, he circles, he flies, both harbinger of ill tidings, messenger of salvation. Bird meets his shadow. He swoops away again. I follow his progress with a heart both thankful and envious. Bird meets my shadow, and we are one. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> Kate? Yes? I, my uh, audio was muted, and I didn't think I could unmute myself. But I want to thank you both of you and pairing with Bill Owens poem is a great, um, I would say pleasure and honor. <laughs> I have oh. known about Bill Owens for a long time and he has worked at uh, Livermore, Pleasanton area. So thank you for doing that. Um, my heartfelt thanks to both of you. Uh, thank you, Pushpa. Thank, thank you, you're so welcome, much. Pushpa. Here's Tom's um, uh, trains near the Susan's horses. And you talked a lot about this pairing. The, yeah, this, this the was- The power of these things. This was really fun when this, when this happened. Hicks goes to Hilliard. Okay, <laughs> let's see what happens. And, we, and we're laying them and we're going, oh my God, this is so cool. Because, you know, horsepower. I mean, it's so playful at the same time that it's poignant. And this actually brings us, I don't, um, I don't think Marcella's here, but I did want to bring out both her. Um, I, I'll go ahead and read Marcella's, even though she's not here. I don't I, think she's here. Unless uh, she showed up. Is this, this was also really fun. The, the only time we put three, I think, together in the whole book, there was something about the old image that Arnold did here. And, and we've seen Arnold for years in, in the spring show. And and this one is this one's really different. It's it's this juxtaposition, almost like nineteenth and twentieth century, and uh, you can see the the old image here on the right, and then the little girl looking down at memory, and so the poem, and then the heart. It it almost reflected the sense of time and broken hearts, and everything just came together on this layout. And again, 
Arnold Clayton Henderson going to Jimenez. <laughs> and then Marcella's poem just seemed to really speak to this. Sand impressions, peaceful walks on the beach fill my mind with memories of childhood, sights of delicate line carved by the sea as if the artists now gone dance their talents upon the sand, gifting us lasting beauty, perhaps a rose drawn bring to mind remembrances of petals pressed within pages of life, the thorns now gone, leaving only dreams to flourish in our hearts. Thank you, Marcella. Yeah. Um, so, and invite people who would like to make comments to raise their hand and I will, or to put, actually probably the best thing would be to put your, put something in the chat and I'll call on people in order so that we don't have everybody talking at once. Does anyone have anything that they want to share? I'm looking for the chat, it's missing. Why is the chat missing? Hold on a second. It's, Eliz it's Elizabeth, can I speak? Yes, yes. please Elizabeth. Hello Elizabeth. Hello Elizabeth. Hi. No, I just wanted to thank you from from me and from, from Marty's also here. I don't know if you can see him. Hi, Marty. <laughs> He's sitting over there. Uh, but just to thank you guys for all the work that you put into this. And there were a lot of really lovely layouts. And I get the problem that you, you, know, you encountered in doing it. But I think you guys did a great job. And some sang more than others. But, you know, it's a lot, a lot of work. And so I appreciate you guys doing it. And I, I want to say while we have so many people on on this chat that are Hayward people for the most part, that I wanna thank you both for all that you gave to the Hayward community and Photo Central while you were here and it was a kind of a quick departure, I get it, but I think everybody on this chat is probably very grateful. And if we could have a party out there in some way to really honor you guys, I would like to see that happen, but thank you. That's very kind of you, Elizabeth. And uh, that sounds like a great excuse to have a party in Bellingham to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, that can know, happen too. That can yeah, Alle too. Allegiant Airlines is offering $25 tickets <laughs> in advance <laughs> all the way to next year. Uh, as soon as we all get our inoculations, we'll all be ready to go. <laughs> we can all just go in hazmat suits. You know, get on the plane, oh. get off, take it off. What the hell? <laughs> you know? Are they, where do they fly? Does Allegiant fly into Bellingham? Oh, right down the road, seven miles from the house. And it only has two gates. It's very fun. Really? One of those uh, <laughs> are, are they in Oakland still? Yep. They're still in Oakland. Oakland to Bellingham. In fact, a lot of Canadians from Vancouver will come down and fly out of Bellingham because it's so comfortable. Instead if the they bank. can cross the border. <laughs> well, they can't now. That's true. Yeah. It's very quiet here in town. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to echo Elizabeth. This is Greta. And say that, you know, all the years that you've been building community for photography in Hayward has been like a miracle, like something in the Bay Area that we are going to severely miss. And it has to do with your energies, the two of you. And um, this book will be a wonderful keepsake from that. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Greta. So many uh, wonderful people in the book. <laughs> I'm determined to not let it end, as you might imagine. I'm trying to figure something out already. I, I don't, I, you know, <laughs> someone asked early on what's happening down there. I, I don't know. We actually know nothing uh, of what they're going to open, what they're going to keep. Um, we're in suspense as much as you are. Uh, but there's no reason we can't continue something like this or, you know, maybe even in person instead of on the screen. Right. Uh, I loved the process of this. This was you know, insane, but really, really <laughs> it was it was a blast. And uh, it's so hard to think about spring book 2021. What, what will it be? You know, what could we do? You know, so we're all ears. And uh, yeah. as uh, as we say, we always have some new ideas and hopefully you guys do too. And we'll keep you in the loop as we do that. Yeah, and uh, let's 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 hope we keep the fire burning down there as well. So, 
other comments, other things that people want to share? Never want to be shy. Hello, Aaron. Garen. Garen, Kate, thank you, thank you so much. Behind me are some of my photography books. This is a library I have in this room solely for photography. I have another library for other books. This one will join the shelves. And if it wasn't through your giving, teaching, inspiration, I could have never imagined that I would have this wealth behind me. It was just not on my radar screen. Thank you. Thank you, Alan, very much. And uh, this is not a roast. Now, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll also hold you to the $25 airline ticket. <laughs> ah, I didn't say I was buying it there, mind you. I was telling I'm you. Not, I was not <laughs> thinking of that, but it has implications here. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go back to the book, and um, if people want to talk, please just um, yeah, jump in. Jump in, uh, Kate. Yeah. This is Mike. Hi, yes. Mike. Hi, Mike. Hi. Hey, I, I finally figured out my mute button, but oh, uh, I just like to thank you for the pairing with Bill Owens. I I think it worked really well. Oh, I'm um, so glad. Uh, the whole book r works wonderful, but uh, I really did like that. Thank you. You're welcome. I, and, and I, I'm, you know, I was a little nervous that maybe the meaning in your image wasn't quite the meaning in his poem, but I felt, well, you know, I'm not one to... He's not shy. I'm not shy to take <laughs> risks, <laughs> but uh, I, I'm really glad that it, that it speaks to it, because I felt it did, too. Yeah. Yeah. I even, this I, Pushpa. Hi, Pushpa. Uh, one thing I wanted to say is the friendship with you guys is like a gift that keeps on giving and giving. And my life is enriched because of that. Um, and I wish, and 25 years ago maybe, that I met you guys, and it has been very momentable. So thank you for doing this. It was good to see Alan Rubinstein, I recognize him. <laughs> but. I don't know, there may be more people that I recognize but don't remember. Just want to say about my watercolor because Photo Central is a photography thing and I did a lot of work, photography, but then I got into watercolor and uh, Kate and I have been in contact on and off and, and we have wonderful conversations about this. <laughs> so this is my watercolor entry. I'm still a beginner. Uh, trying to do things around and I enjoy watercolor more than wine she's she's known that I don't drink wine <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much appreciate everything you do thank you Pushpa You're, um Joe I think I saw Joe Decker on here I, this might be your photograph is this is right? my photograph and um I was delighted you picked this because this yes. was taken in a photo central workshop and it uh uh, was literally something that came by during uh, a gray day where people were having trouble being excited. And I said, let's do a little long exposure demo. And that became this image. It's from uh, Garen Regional Park. And uh, uh, I thought it came out okay. Yeah. Wonderful, Joe. It's a <laughs> image. I just, I just know the L are around the next corner. I mean, that's what it feels like, you know. <laughs> and, and it's so, stay there for just a second, Kate, such a wonderful reminder in these times when it's tough to travel and all that. Garen, right in the backyard, and to take the skills you have in photography in what the students were saying was, oh, it's kind of boring, isn't it? And look what you, look what you did. And he <laughs> was a wonderful teacher, and if he's still getting you out there, you know, get out there. And on the layout thing, <laughs> This was really fun to double truck and bleed. Mm. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You turn the page and you just go, whoa, you're in that world. You know, that was very fun. I, uh, I'm, I, I was delighted to see it when you passed out the PDF. Thank you so much. I don't know if Gene's here. Marcel, Marcel could not attend. He did write me and say he, had, he planned to, but got held up at work. But I, I really, um, sort of changing the mood a little bit here. Yeah. And then, um, is no. yeah. here? Oh, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, I'm here. Hey. Am I live? Hey. 
Philip here. Hi, Philip. So, um, I've been forced, you know, I spent so much time down there and I'm getting calls from people that used to come in, use the facilities about where they can go work now. And we don't have a, any place. So I've uh, sent some people off to some strange areas to see whether they get their printing done or not. But uh, in the meantime, I had to invest myself in my own printer so I can keep on working. I'm doing a print or two a week and I'm trying to expand my size a little bit with the new black box. So we'll see what happens. Very exciting. Good to hear you're still working, even though you, I, you know, those of you know that Philip was there every week and he, he was in the gallery regularly. So, uh, yeah, it's, it, it leaves a little emptiness for us. Yeah. So. Neely's, this is one of Neely's pieces. And again, that, that, that feeling of wanting to fill the page and anything that you want to share, Neely, because I know you're doing a lot of things right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to do less. Um, but no, I, I was excited to be able to participate in this. Um, I mean, thinking originally that it was a show and then turn, turning, of course, turning into a book, which I love and I'm, I'm getting back into. So I'm, I'm excited in that it transitioned into something that we can all hold in our hands and spend time with because I find as much as I love the openings at Photo Central and going and seeing everybody, which is always very fun and exciting and lively, um, I don't get to spend enough time with the images. And so I'm going to get to do that now, which I'm really excited about. So thank you. And thank you for choosing that to, to go across the spread. I'm honored, actually honored. Um, yeah, it was a photo that I took in a place that I love and have been to quite a bit. And um, I will admit that the, that the quote is, is actually Simone de Beauvoir. I was, um, I was reading about her on my last trip to Paris and went to visit um, different places that she had been while uh, there in the city and went to visit her grave. And uh, so as I was going through my images, trying to create a composite to teach my students how to do composite images, I wanted to give them an illustration of what could be done. And this just sort of, like a lot of things just sort of flowed naturally. You know, the carousel from Paris came with this and with that and it, um, and, I, and I owe a lot of that inspiration to Photo Central, but of course to you, Kate. Thank mm -hmm. you, Neely. And Neely now teaches at Cabrillo College, which is um, always lovely when they, um, a, a student can pass on and become um, a, a colleague in that way. Yeah. So thank you. No, thank you, I'm honored. And, and the sequencing there, you know, going from Georgie Girl or to 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 that. I think you'll see if you do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. But that was really fun too, you know. Again, Jean Dominique, you know, over to Neely, you know what now? Okay. Whoa, look at that. That really speaks. And and your Simone quote, I think it needed to be large, is what mm -hmm. Kate and I were feeling. It needed to really engage the viewer in a big way. And so it, it helped immensely. And then ch totally changing gears and going to Africa, yet there was something about the critters and this dance. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know how to explain it. It just started to, the, you know, when you're laying out a book and we print things out, and we lay them around the floor as well as on the screen, because uh, those of you that have worked with me know that if something's going to be a print, you can't do it exclusively on a screen. You've got to make it a print because it looks different once you hold it in your hand, once you move it around. And there's, there was something about these pictures that just can't explain, but they belong together. And those two people standing there in the middle. Huh. I, uh, can you hear me? Lois is here, I think. Yeah, the Kath Catherine and Lois are here. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, this is an extraordinary accomplishment. Uh, the ultimate making lemonade when you're handed a lemon. <laughs> I can see the uh, putting the pictures together and the, and the matching. Here is the color and, yep. the, and the movement, but also the cheetahs are, are quite still, but you, you know movement is what they're all about. Um, I'm a yep. newcomer, have a 25 year history, but it has been a total pleasure 
to have been involved in Photo Central and to have been participated in the last several um, spring shows. And I want to thank you very much and wish you the best in Bellingham. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you very much, Catherine. And I, I hope you're going to get a printer at home soon because you were you were down there quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Is and she was very. She's been very helpful as a volunteer and really supportive of of our projects. And Brian, I don't think is here. And Lori and Bruce and okay. Lori and Bruce's pair. This was one of my favorites as far as kind of a mystical moment. Um, I mean, totally disparate. I mean, here here we are in. Mongolia and the bristlecone pines of the Sierra Nevada and doggone it, they speak to each other to me. Let's see. Can we see anything? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's talk. oh, can you hear us? Yes. Uh, yes. Hi, Gabby. I think that was Gabby. No, this is Lori and Brian. Oh, Hi. oh, you're there. Okay, we'll go. <laughs> I can see you. I just got back Because I, I, again, another spread that really filled the book with energy in a wonderful way to then go to this kind of quiet contemplative moment between your, your images. Can I say something? Oh, well, well we just want to say that we only met you. Can you hear us? Yes. Yes. Oh, there you oh, are. Okay. Uh, hi. Um, we only met you last year at Oliver's opening, and then you said there's a show, and we missed everything, and <laughs> you still let us come and meet you late at night on a Tuesday night, and we couldn't have imagined any two people who could have been more inspiring, more welcoming um more open-hearted towards us and it really encouraged us to to try again this year and of course we're we're very sad that you left but also so happy to have met you when we could so just our deepest gratitude thank you so much and hopefully this is really not the end hopefully there's more to this thank you Lori. thank you Lori. yeah i hope you really enjoy uh, northwest washington that's really beautiful it is, Brian, and it's lovely up here, and, you know, we've been coming up here all our lives, and it just it seemed like the logical decision. Bruce, I, I saw Bruce, yeah. I have Bruce and um, Alice's piece is here, and so, uh, sort of, again, that idea of what do you combine together, um, and how do you do, how do you... Oh, oh and symbolism, these? symbolism, here we go, you know, folk goes to Fritz, and here we go, now what, are, and we see the, I, I, I said, look, Kate, look at the butterfly, it's, it's the light, unbearable lightness of being, it's the metamorphosis, it's birth, and it just really, it sang so that, and, and, you know, Bruce is having the, this, this mausoleum, or what do you call that, Bruce? Uh, He's muted right now. Um, co columbarian, is that it, guys? Anyway. Where the dead folks are, <laughs> and he has he has the pregnant woman in there, and it, this this just really sang, and the palette the palette work too. Um, we mentioned Carolina in the beginning. She is um, in Broome, Australia. So unfortunately, it's four a.m. there. We had a conversation last night around, uh, and her, she was our art one of our artists in residence, as was Elizabeth, um, and then Vaughn, which I don't think Vaughn is here tonight. Um, and just how they really enriched our community in so many ways. You know, and that's one of the things we're really gonna, we're going to miss, and we hope that Hard keeps the dark room open because Carolina was able to come and work on her mm -hmm. her body of work. She only works in film, and uh, she came and stayed with us for a number of weeks in our home while she worked at Photo Central. Mm -hmm. And she has no no access to a dark room in Australia, so it was very it was a gift that our community was able to give her. This is Phillips, um, done by Chromate with Steve George's um, memorial of the Veterans Memorial. Um, and Osman's wonderful 
liquid liquid images, but I don't remember who that was. I can't read the names. Osman Yervik. Osman Yervik. Sorry, should take a second more with that one. And you you'll get the link to the book so that if you end hopefully. Well, Your copy. Okay. Um, so many of you did order the copy and I have put in the orders as they're coming in. Um, because of the COVID-19, they're, they're saying it will be about three to four weeks to print. Um, I'm hoping it'll be more quicker than that, but um, we'll just keep moving forward yeah. with that. And Wendy Hannum, I saw Ronald was here, Hassemeyer. Ron, you here? So. Okay. And as we go through, I mean, trying to, to just balance all the colors we've seen this page. And I think we're back to where we were. Yeah, keep going. Okay. And please jump in if you want to make a comment or it's just, I really like what Kate has done and able to turn it like this. It's quite, oh, this, this was a fun pair. Playing with light and dark, ah. and then going to um, Robin's gas masks. And th this is another example. There's only a couple times we had one image with nothing on the other side. And <laughs> I mean, much what are you? You know, I, this just has to sit there, and it it really became very prophetic with what we were going through. And also um, of the of the images throughout the book, there's a few of them where the material is a traditional, this yeah. is wet play collodion, which is very special. Um, Lala's trip di diptych. diptych, yeah. And then very playful, um, I think, is Marty still here? Um, just, I just love the magic of that. And then I, Richard was here also. Oh, and again, you know, when we're, when we're laying them out in order and we see, we see Man and Martinez and I go, oh my God, look at this, look at the hands, look at the colors, it just, it's it's a uh, good luck for sure. Yeah, yeah, as Catherine was saying, you know, there's a there's some there's some luck here. Yeah, le lemonade from lemons, and when these moments happen, you can speak. Really that was sheer. That was sheer uh, talent, uh, Gear. Oh yeah, of, of course. Right. Oh, right. But, yes. but I'll take of course. <laughs> I'll take I'll take good luck anytime I can get it. Very much. And by the way, I like your face. I see My you face? got a new one. Oh, I got a new one. Yes, yes. Uh, I decided that the mask didn't work so well at the hospital when I had that beard. Yeah. So we got what happened the, to the beard? Uh, I I have it. <laughs> it's it's going to be in an art piece in some at some point in time. Or a bird uh, death. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Hopefully, Can no we one will get a strand in our book. <laughs> yeah, maybe put it in a book. Yeah, get a strand of your hair in your book in a book. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. Two joyful pictures by the Millers. Some of you remember um, Daniel Miller's. Are they on? Or? I don't think they are, but um, okay. Daniel Miller's show that we had that was part of the Kintsugi project. Kintsugi and also Daniel was uh, our lab, our lab tech manager for many years. And some of you that have been around a long time might remember him. And here's one of Greta's pieces um, with Nassim's. Um, and just a really powerful about memory and fabric and um, I just really love these two together. How do you like it Greta? The pairing? You know? I think it's wonderful. Oh good. It's good. very uh, it's quite fascinatingly mm -hmm. opposite. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was unexpected. Yeah. It was very unexpected when we, we had a completely different sequence the first time. We had uh, Nassim's triptych and the pair. Uh, your, oh, your that's story. interesting. Yeah, and it was very interesting. But then when we did this, we had, oh, this is fascinating here, and well, it started to synergize. You can see the, the woman. The, uh, the woman in the dress is Nancy Carlin, who's an actor and director in oh. USA. And we did a lot of photography together. And I had the. She was pregnant, of course, and I had this uh, fabulous silk smock dress of my great grandmothers and uh, it just worked. So I was very excited about it. It's a very timeless piece, Greta. Yeah. yeah. A lot 
with the with the idea of draping and of and of the um, she is from Iran and she just did an amazing um, graduate thesis project out of the Art Institute recently and is doing a lot of exhibitions around that theme. So, and she was in last year's spring show. Some of you may remember. Mm -hmm. And Bill's um, pinhole and uh, Jackson's uh, gur from Western Mongolia. Uh, I, like, I like the way the uh, the pinhole exaggerates movement because of no lens and the the, the smoke coming out of the, the yurt just kind of mimics that. That was on the same trip uh, that uh, Brian and Lori were on to Western Mongolia. Oh, how fun! So it was a real treat. Yeah, I got to meet them uh, in Mongolia. So that was really so that, their image was uh, the, the image of Brian's was also taken on that trip then? Yeah, the, both of their images were taken in Mongolia. I think Brian's was taken after um, the, the, you know, organized tour. They went on their own tour afterwards down to central Mongolia. Is that right, Brian? And, uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I mean, it was all around the same time. How interesting. Some really very different and very beautiful imagery. Um, Wendy is here and uh, just a really moving image uh, that went very well with one of Sim's poems. And Sim, I, I love that poem, Sim. And I, yeah. I encourage everybody to, to when you get your book it. to really take the time with the, the poems there. This is very moving poem, Sim. Thank you. And Maria, Maria had to go, I had to leave. Um, she was here earlier, but the juxtaposition with her portraiture that she's doing around, and in fact, I don't, I think this may be part of her work with the COVID-19, it is. It is. where she's going and photographing people who are in isolation, and, um, and then the kind of dream of Elizabeth's beautiful, beautiful veiled image. Um, and that, I, lo I, love, I love the way books can suggest relationships the way film does, the way a movie does. You know, that uh, Sergei Eisenstein's breakthroughs on editing and sequencing back at the early parts of fil silent filmmaking, really, it's a little bit of a nod to that, that to me now, this woman is that woman, that that's her at a younger age, and she's thinking back to those times. And, and that was, that's one of the fun things about being an editor in the book. And you hope that in a group show like this, that the artists don't say, well, that's not what it's about at all. Thank you very, very much. But uh, I really like that relationship. How did you feel about it, Elizabeth? She's still here. Uh, I might have lost her. Anyway, she feels good about it because she's not here to say anything. So there we go. And she's, she's trying to talk, but she's muted. Oh, OK. Oh, I don't see her. Sorry. Go back one more then. There she is. Yeah. Unmute yourself, Elizabeth. You're talking, but we can't hear you. Unmute. Um, oh, sorry. Okay. There you yes, are. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. No, I when I saw that, I thought it was great. I'd forgotten that that was the picture beside it. I hadn't looked at this in a week or so. No, I. you're right. It does feel like somebody's going back and thinking about a, another time. And it's yeah, a beautiful and, you know, yeah, it's, it's, um, and I love that piece. One of my favorite pieces of yours, Elizabeth. I've always liked that. And, yeah. and this was an interesting one because Kate and I were each moving both of them, you know, a quarter and half an inch in scale back and forth. And Kate won. She said, no, the memory has to be very large because the woman is now really locked in her memories. We were having this kind of discussion making the book, and it was very fun. And uh, yeah. and I think she she's ultimately very right. It need memory needed to just be very large. Yeah, that's a nice pairing. It's very nice. Thank you. I'm looking at it on my screen, my desk. I have a laptop here which couldn't hook up with Zoom either for some reason because it's too old. But I can see I brought up the the dummy you guys had sent a couple weeks back, so I can see oh. what we're talking about. And actually, the the one that we sent, I updated it, so it is the latest version. So you're, it's the same address for the latest version. So. And you know, this is well, one of the moments where you, you run and get a snack afterward because you're so excited when you see Afropia go to Susan Quinn and it says passing through and 
I spent some time with Afra dealing with, with loss and death in this body of work. It's so moving. And almost what the heck after knowing all of that about the body of work, and, and I encourage all of you to see that book if you ever get a chance, what do you put next to it? And when, when that walkway of Susan's, and then there's, I believe, a crucifix at the end on top of it all, I just go, wow. Could this have been choreographed more appropriately? And it's it's wonderful. Is, are, are either of them here? Um, Susan Quinn is. I don't think Afra is. Susan, what do you think? Are you able to unmute? Wonderful uh, juxtaposition of the two, but I don't believe that's the crucifix back there. Uh, it is a mosque. Oh, interesting. Look, look, what do you think it is? You'll have to enlarge your image one day to find out, because when I look at it, it boy. It's fascinating. Yeah, I don't, where I am right now, I don't have it with available. I think it was just the door hinge, but I'll, I'll go back and I'll email you and let you know. Interesting, Susan. Well, our, a good friend of ours, uh, Saeed, has done a, a large body of work uh, going around the world to places where, where spiritual practices sit side by side. So, for example, where, where a mosque used to be... Uh, a, a temple that used to be a church and there's some unique places on earth where that occurs and in a way this this for me became uh suggestive and referential of Saeed's Saeed's work of unification and so maybe I was reading that into it too yeah. but it, it it's lovely whether whatever it is <laughs> thank you then we, go, then we go to the energy of the uh of the flamingos and, and, the, and the movement. And the it's movement, just, yeah. just, I love that, that when, when it got really big, it, it almost became a, a visual cacophony and chaos, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I don't think Tim is here, but um, it was really exciting to have his painting to be part of this, and sort of the story, too, by having both the, um, in his bio, and I do recommend people to spend some time with those, um, that the, the this is the photograph he took 10 years ago, and this is the very large scale painting he made from that photograph. And it's a first for Tim, because uh, you, you might recall from the Kintsugi show, Tim's abstract paintings, and also the photographic work he, he did. Of, uh, and we are determined to get all the books online eventually, guys, so we can all enjoy the, in that Kintsugi back there. Sure, I'm, gonna hold, I'm gonna hold one up. Come on, here we go. This book is sold out and we need to reprint, but those of you might remember this one. And Tim's work. This is the first real, this is the first representational painting Tim made because his work is all abstract. Oops, this one. And also it's on the back as well. Yeah. So that was very interesting to have him on board with that. And sort of photorealism and photography at the same time. Um, okay, we're, we're on R, so there's hope for everyone. Um, the Riggies did, yeah. um, very nice to have them both on here. Are you, are you here? Lisa, Lisa and Ron. There you are. Hey, guys. Oh, I'm, I, there's the camera, but here's my picture, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, first off, this is wonderful going through the book with you. It just adds so much. And it's oh, so cool. meaningful. So thank you so much. And thank you for including us because we were at the tail end of this um, as well. And I've always appreciated both of your congeniality, I think is a good word, vivaciousness. And as you can tell as we are with our very quiet photographs here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I really appreciate you work that you did the collaborative work with the, the poet, um, which we obviously is a theme that goes through this book and through our work also. Um, and then um, just the way that the line in Ron's boats echoes the line in the meditation space that you've created. And they mm -hmm. keep on bouncing back and forth between each other. I was so excited when these when we got when we got these two together. Yeah, and they all, you know, interesting too, uh, Lisa, your piece was one of the instrumental ones in the decision on the paper, the background paper we wanted to use for the book. 
Mm. In what yeah. way? And, uh, to make sure that thing. That, so we, when we make the book, we gave it a, a, um, a. We often give it a slight color in the background, but we really chose the color such that the, the pictures that had white around them, like yours or a couple others, um, mm -hmm. certainly Tim's would stand out and really feel like objects because that was important to um, the understanding of what you, you had made. But not too heavy because mm -hmm. we started with a, a darker background paper and when we got to Tim's and yours and we go, whoa, that's too much. Mm -hmm. You know, we tried, we tried some grays, we tried lots of different colors. Wow. Yeah, we were very happy when we saw these yeah. together as well. Thank you so much. Well, we were kind of stuck with Riggy Riggy, so just so you know, I mean, uh, you know, sort of like your doll, your doll. I was going to call you for a middle name there, but no, we we went for it. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. This was really fun. And I did see um, Mark was here, and uh, certainly Alan is here. But I just I love the way the puppy and the figure in the painting and go back and forth and play with our, our mind. And, and then the look of the, the sculpture in the foreground and the man looking down at the dog, this is just one of those, again, synergistic moments. Yes, and this picture really represents a, what photography has given me because I was walking through some things that were kind of not fun last year and when I went to those meetings, I would carry my camera. So afterwards, I would go out and photographer. And this isn't a type of place I wouldn't normally photograph without being invited to do so. So I struck up with an acquaintance with him and was given permission to be taking a, pictures in a, like a, a pretty hard biker's bar. Mm. You know, Alan, watching you evolve in your, not your street work, I guess we'll call it that just for lack of another term, but. The, the happenstance nature of these images. I really enjoy the way you are now. It feels like I have a private moment. And that's, that seems to be evolving, you know, like I, I'm privy to, the, to, to what I'm seeing with the man and his dog, whereas, whereas your earlier ones, I felt more interaction. And that's, that's interesting, Alan. I get it, thank you. And speaking of street photography, this would have been the fifth annual San, the week of the fifth annual San Francisco Street Photography Festival. And I'm oh. saddened that I guess there'll be a gap of a year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like yeah. many things. Well, unfortunate. And Majid's piece, who he cannot be here tonight, but a uh, very fun, playful. With oh, go back, go back. Because that, you know, this, this was really the poem. She's squeezing me now. I'm talking too much. No. We, we, so, <laughs> but, but, you know, th this was so fun, Sim. Well, Warrior Ants. And, and this march, the warrior ants marching, and when we saw this, oh my gosh, there, you can almost visualize them going up the escalator, can't you? <laughs> okay, I'll okay, stop talking. Okay. No, you don't stop talking. And we have Joan's piece, and I, I, I think Joan is here, and that the night photography being so magical, and then Michael's piece of the... Um, uh, of the, the store, I think, yeah, the, the store, Tibetan store the Tibetan or something store, like that. And, just, you know, sort of the magic that came from those and um, together. And, and to me, you know, it was like, I'm imagining that they're inside, the store is inside that barn. Right. Very much. That was really fun. Which then goes to Terry's picture of the, the Palace of Fine Arts. We've looked at this one, keep going. And Sonia's picture. I think Sonia's still here. Sonia, are you here? Yes, there you are. Um, and is, is um, Bruce still here? I don't know if he could stay. Um, I just, this is just such a funny poem and so humorous and um, the combination with, with this cat that seems so, it could be joyful, it could be enraged, it could be whatever a cat wants to be, right? <laughs> Can't you see I'm reading, says the poem, so bother me not. <laughs> I actually uh, use that photo to send out for birthday cards that say you're how old? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. You want to read that one, Gary? We create in joy, we express to question, we make in the face of adversity. And against one of John's pictures, which is courage or question mark. <laughs> which I just loved in the, especially with, you know, we have these hopeful, kind of hopeful words, and then this whole um, kind of 
this little person in, in the face of this huge, huge world. And it was taken to Lake Louise. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's so and, with all that snow around, and he, the guy is standing up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he went for quite a while. And wow. I thought I'd, I'd leave the title up to anybody who wanted to fill it in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, Ron's night photography trip diptych. Yeah, that's the second. We had two diptychs in the book, and we yeah. decided to take both diptychs and truck them over the spread instead of keeping them uh, together, suggesting the diptych while at the same time showing it. Yeah. And Fred Frederick. Frederick is here. Frederick. Um, can you tell us anything about this picture? Anything you want to share? Um, this image is uh, almost older than me. And I know that's hard to believe for some of you guys who think I'm still 12. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, it's one of the negatives I pulled out um, from my Hossi X pen and uh, decided to print it up uh, again and then decided to scan it and then reprint it um, large format on our Canon. And so I blew this up pretty well, a uh, decent size. I think it's maybe four feet, maybe, maybe four feet. Oh, interesting, Frederick. I didn't know that. And we really needed this yeah. thing to be, to feel the space. Yeah. So that's coincidental. I, that, I'm glad we did that then. Yeah. yeah. And sort of keeping the sense of the film, film edge too was real important. Yeah, real powerful. Yeah, speaking to the medium. It's, re it's really lovely. And how could we not end with a rainbow, Beth? Thank yes. You. Thank you for giving us this uh, this fabulous ending. Along thank you. Just <laughs> elegant eye and flamingo. Yeah, it did. I, I just want to say that this picture did get chosen for the Bodhi calendar. So it's pretty cool. Oh, yay! <laughs> Thanks. Oh, <cool. laughs> Thanks. And so that brings us to the um, this was bios, which this was, was really fun. fun and challenging. And and, for, and I'll, I'll ask forgiveness for all the people that I edited too much from your your <laughs> quote, but uh, you're you're going to have to live with it. But yeah. but what was really fun is pulling out your quotes and mm -hmm. uh, those pullouts. I think made it even more exciting. And then the the gallery of additional images, which was also very fun to to build. I'm just going to go through them quickly with the hope that you'll spend time with the book and that we already are at 8.12. And um, this isn't one of your, your sessions where we're timed. <laughs> Some people we can. can do what we want. Well, maybe we can. Um, and again, some very, very fun juxtapositions happened as we went through. Um, While well, we kept them relatively in alphabetical order, really looking at textures, looking at relationships and trying to get a feeling like you would get if you wandered through the gallery. Uh, Hi everybody. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for thank you. Great. And um, we you for years of friendship and art and it's been wonderful and it will Thank continue. You. It Thank will you. continue. There's there's many more things to happen and we will keep in touch as we. Um, a lot of you are staying in touch with each other. I know that you know and um, keep doing that. <laughs> please healthy. please fill us in. I, I, we do love it up here, but we miss you guys. Yeah. And we we'll just. And keep if I have anything to do with anything, I will not let PC die. <laughs> <laughs> That's our guy. You go, Fred. Okay, <laughs> Frederick. But, but Fred, <laughs> Frederick. In the meantime, some of the people that love PC might die if we don't get your butt yeah. over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> just just a little, just hinting there, Frederick. <laughs> that I sure could use. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Let's talk yeah, off Frederick, off. we're yeah. not any, well, any you know? fires I need to light. I will light those fires, and I will let you guys know. Frederick, okay. if you need Good. my help to collaborate on any of that, give me a call. You have my no number. Problem, I know. Alan. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, and I, I do think that 
the possibility of, um, so a couple things that will be coming up. We'd like to do a more general opening where we would um, probably be more of a webinar kind of thing where we'd invite more people to come see the spring book um, probably in a, a, a little while and we'll do another sort of evening event where we can share a little bit and we'll ask some of you to maybe after the books arrive everybody yeah, gets their, have books. their books and we can have another uh, gathering and then um uh, i will be doing some online classes and so i'll reach out with information on those as they they get scheduled and we'll just we now that everything's virtual we're not really that far away <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll just try to keep our connection and our and our hearts um, with all of our community of photographers and creatives. And I thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And uh, thank you, Kate. Thank you. Thank you. Anything before we close, or we love you guys. No, just thank love you. you. Stay healthy. We love you all very much. And thank you for staying in the same time zone. <laughs> <laughs> really. Sure. Uh, hello, Wendy. This is Pushpa. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I'm going to hey, go off. My phone's about dying. So, okay, yeah. bye. So I, will, I will send bye. you a link to the book, the recording, bye -bye. And the next event. Thank you, everybody. Thank bye. you. Good night. Thank you. Brian's job just ex exited the room, so we're, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Hi, Denise. Hi, everybody. Here we go.